Okay guys, so I am back with another Destiny 2 video and today we're going to take a look at some of the things I believe could be exotic. But before we go any further, hit that like button and leave a comment to enter my weekly giveaway. Details are on screen now. Now, being at the Destiny 2 event in LA, we actually got to use three exotic weapons. We got to use the Risk Runner, which is an SMG. We got the Sunshot, which is a hand cannon. And we also got to use the Sweet Business, which is an auto rifle. Now, I do have gameplay of all three of these weapons. If you do want to see it, just let me know down below in that comments section. Now these three exotics were the only ones we could use at the actual event but during the live stream reveal for Destiny 2 I spotted numerous weapons which I believe will be exotic too. So let's start and the first one I want to showcase to you guys is this right here. Now what does this weapon remind you of? To me it looks like a new and improved No Land Beyond but with a little cloth wrapped around the barrel. I have a shot of the No Land Beyond from the same position and we can clearly see that they look extremely similar. Look at the scope, although not identical, definitely similar. And the error of the models also look similar too. I mean it's early days but for sure it looks like another No Land Beyond to me. But what do you think? Let me know down below. Okay, so next up we see a weapon which escaped the grasp of Guardians within Destiny 1. I'd guess by a whisker, the dubious volley. This weapon was a part of a group of exotics data mined from the Destiny database just before the release of the Taken King DLC. Unfortunately, this was the only weapon from that data mine which didn't make it into Destiny 1. But for sure now it will be obtainable from Destiny 2. I covered this weapon in a standalone video yesterday if you guys do want to check it out. Simply click my channel icon. Okay so next up we have this sniper rifle. This is actually believed to be a one hit kill to the body. I heard a few people talking about this at the event but personally in my opinion I think that will be a little bit OP. And definitely the direction Bungie are taking PvP now I just don't see that happening. But for sure its design does look exotic with them cyan wires coming off the scope. Pretty damn cool. Next up we have this sidearm. This can only be described as the rat gun. Seen by the rat design along the top of the weapon. Now at the Destiny 2 premiere this weapon was one of the weapons showcased behind a cabinet with a whole bunch of other weapons. Most of them were recognised as being exotic. The real life 3D print of this weapon can actually be seen on screen now. I actually love the design of this thing, seriously stands out and it isn't like anything we've ever seen before. Next up we have another weapon which has a seriously badass design and it's this right here. Now at first glimpse I thought this was a shotgun but slowing the footage down we actually see it's a grenade launcher and I believe it to be a void burn weapon. The design of this thing reminds me of the Galahorn with what I believe here is a lion or another big animal present on the weapon's design. But yes, I would definitely put money on this being an exotic grenade launcher for sure. Now I have saved the best weapon till last. This can only be described as a portal weapon. I mean like seriously look at the design of this thing. Looks like nothing we have ever seen in Destiny before, which in my opinion is great. Them pushing the ball out with new designs is amazing. Although it isn't like some of the current designs ain't out there as in crazy, it's just this isn't like the designs we are used to. Now we are finished with what I believe are exotic weapons, so let's move on to the exotic armors. Now these were used in reference of exotics when they shortly spoke about exotics in the reveal stream. And first up we see this hunter. Now if I had to guess here, I would definitely say it would be the helmet here which is exotic. Nothing special about its design and it kind of reminds me of the Astrozyte verse for the warlock within Destiny 1. Next up we have something which truly does look exotic and it's this piece for the warlock. When I first saw this, the reaction of the crowd at the reveal was amazing. Now we don't know any perks of these exotics, but judging by the six wings this thing has, I'm guessing it might affect the jump somehow. Imagine if this enabled a warlock to jump like a hunter, that would be insane. Might actually make me enjoy using warlocks more. And last but not least, we have this Titan's exotic. These, I would guess, are exotic gauntlets. But honestly, I have no idea what these could offer. There could be a million things, as with the new subclasses, they could affect them somehow, or even offer out a perk from one of these subclasses for you to use something else at the same time. A lot like what we see in Destiny 1. But guys, that is it for another video. Tell me what you think about this down below in that comment section. Remember to subscribe if you're new around here and enjoy Daily Destiny. Hit that bell button next to that subscribe button to receive email notifications so you never miss a video. And I will, as always, guys, see you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we 
understand But you and I will carry on You never get it right